could be forgiven for thinking that this is one big party. But for two weeks now, these protesters have laid siege to this city. A state of emergency has now been declared in Ontario to give police more powers to shut down demonstrations. But most insist they're not going anywhere. We can be here as long as it takes. There's, we're well supported food-wise, fuel-wise, financially. We're fully supported to be here for as long as it takes for this government to realize that the people are the ones that need to have the power. And the Premier of Ontario, Doug Ford, said he yeah. wants people to yeah, take son. their children and go home. Let's warm up. It's what do you say to that? This is history in Canada, and this is an important thing for them to see and them to know. These, these kind of choices shouldn't be mandated. Like, what is, the, what is the point of having a family doctor if the government is going to decide what every person is going to have? It started as a protest against vaccine requirements for lorry drivers, but it's mushroomed to an anti-government movement, which has paralyzed not only this capital city, but vital trade routes between Canada and the US. It doesn't look like much, but a short drive from the main demonstration, this repurposed car park is its headquarters. So all of a sudden we get a call and some truckers are out of fuel and we need to get fuel to them. And so we just rally as many people as we can. Winton was a fire chief for 31 years, but he's now helping direct operations here. These are saunas. You know, you get cold, you get achy, you get chilled. And they can come here and they can just get a little bit of R&R. &R. It's uh, emotionally good, it's physically good. The main aim of this nerve centre, though, is refuelling protest lorries to keep their engines idling. Police raided the camp earlier this week, seizing jerry cans containing petrol. But deliveries continue. The Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, is under pressure from the US to bring a swift end to this chaos. The longer the standoff continues, the less likely a peaceful resolution. Martha Kellner, Sky News, Ottawa.